So you want to learn ESO Ebonics. You want to learn all the cool acronyms and names players are saying in the game. I'm going to help you do it. Here we go. Let's get into it. You probably heard this one a million times. Zerg <coughs> or Zergine. It's basically Trap Rose, Orc J, uh, whoever wins a campaign. It's just using overwhelming numbers of unskilled players to win campaigns. And that's what really bad players do. It's what they have to do. You know, they're not good enough to uh, play in a small group, small small fights. They need full 12 mans. And most of these groups will run two full 12 mans or three full 12 man groups. Right? So that's Zergin. A DPS, damage per second. It's basically what Law Dog does to all the pugs. I do lots of damage per second to all the Zergling puggies. All right, got it? Good. Next one. All right, LFG. You guys probably see this one all the time for PvE and PvP. Again, it's what people are doing to find a group. It's what all the Zerglings do. They'll be spamming LFG or X in the chat trying to get into the biggest possible group so they can get carried and hide from the Law Dog. Most people LFG just to fight me. They're looking for a group. It should be LFG, a four, and then a, a D, you know, for dog or LD. Because they're looking for a group uh, to fight Law Dog, for Law Dog, to fight Law Dog. You know, so it'll be 4F LD. You know what I'm saying? Looking for a group to fight Law Dog. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's what everyone does. Everyone knows this. Common knowledge. This one is, uh, you know, spawn. It's what everyone should know who's a victim of Law Dog. It's what I make you do after I pack you up. I make you respawn. I make you spawn. So spawning could refer to, like, uh, you respawning at a keep or a gate or a shrine or mobs respawning when you're killing the ads, uh, the uh, NPCs that you're fighting, you know, uh, in the game or be respawning or spawn points. But mainly what it means is, like, after I pack you up, you gotta spawn somewhere, you know? You should be used to that by now, players, right? God. Next up, we have mobs, trash mobs. Um, those are just groups of, uh, you know, uh, basic enemies, trash mobs that are, you know, spawning up. Ads are, uh, what you were talking about, like if you're fighting at a resource, a farm, or something like that in the game, or it, we call those ads. Any of the NPCs we call ads. Uh, aggro is like um, what I've told you guys about before, when you're dueling and someone's like kiting or running around a rock and they're they're trying to lose aggro so it's you not being able to target them so that's what they're talking about with the aggro you will also hear the word uh aggro like used by like tanks and people in pve because the tank will take aggro on a, a trial boss or a boss in a dungeon they're supposed to be taking the hits so if you hold aggro you're the one getting attacked you're taking all the ads um and you're taking all the damage from the enemies so that's what aggro is when you hear someone say that. But really what it means is Law Dog always has aggro because everyone's trying to kill him. And he's so good that he kills everyone anyway. <laughs> you know? Star. This is another easy one, CC. Um, it's just uh, crowd control is what it means. It's like when you're fighting Zergs or fighting anyone, they can CC you. So if you're using the sentence, oh my god, Law Dog toppled me and CC'd me and then packed me up. You know? Something that's like familiar to most players. Next one. This one's a personal favorite. Purple team, green team, and orange team. It's talking about any combination of the three alliances working together in pair to beat another one of the alliances. You know? So you'd be like, oh, it's green team coming after us, taking us out, bro. You know, when you mix the colors together, you make a different color, right? So that's what they're talking about. But really, if we're being reasonable, if you have emperorship and you have all the keeps and everyone's gated, who else can they attack? The other alliances, so if red has everything, uh, blue and yellow can only attack red because you have all the keeps, and then you have all the scrolls, and you have all the powers and all the buffs. Obviously, they're going to attack you because there's no one else to attack, and you're the key person to attack because you have everything. People are trying to win the game. It's a, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So don't be one of those guys who are like, purple team, green team, orange team, wah, wah, wah. Don't do it, bro. Flame. All right. Pots, easy one. Pots are just short for potions. Um, using the sentence, uh, Law Dog doesn't have to use pots because he's so good and he doesn't need the extra health, recoveries, or buffs. Right? Get it? Got it? Good. Ganking is primarily what uh, Nightblades do when they come out of stealth and they attack you uh, from surprise and you're unaware of it. They pop out of nowhere. But any player can do it. For instance, uh, players will sit on resources in stealth. 
let someone come up or some players come up and start attacking their resource. Next thing you know, they all come out of stealth and ulti dump these individuals. That is a gank or ganking. Troll. This one, this one really hits home for me, guys, because so many people try to troll me all the time. And, you know, they're purposely making stuff up and being meanies to me. And it's really upsetting. And I don't approve of it. So trolls are like the worst people in the game. Never be friends with them. They're not good people. They have no morals. They're bad persons. And you should just not hang out with them. You know, they're trying to have fun at your expense. And that is not okay with me. I, it's, I'm, not, I'm not okay with it. That's all I'm going to say. Here's just a, a list of uh, different names used to describe each alliance. You know, uh, the alliances are the Ebonheart, Dominion, and uh, the, the uh, Covenant. These uh, these three alliances go by different names. You know, they're blue, blueberries, red, cherries, yellow, bananas. You'll hear these different names, but really they have one name that's in common with all of them. And they are known as Zerglings. They are known as a word that we've already went over. They are all Zerglings. Law Dog plays all three alliances because he likes to kill Zerglings. Got it? Cool. You're going to hear and see people say this a lot. DK, NB, Sork. I don't know, Temp? No, I hear it as Plar. I wouldn't hear Temp, but you normally hear Plar for Templar. But DK, Dragon Knight, Knight NB, Nightblade, Sork, short for Sorcerer. Temp, or what most people actually use, is the word Plar to describe uh, Templar. And they'll add, like, Mag or Stam uh, for Stamina and Magicka in front of these, you know, uh, acronyms. So, real simple. Uh, Zas is Zenimax Studios. It's a company that, you know, the developers, the devs, uh, the developers of the game. Um, they're also the people that um, have signed me to a uh, professional contract as the best ESO player in the game that I always tell you guys about. These are the guys who are paying me big bucks to represent ESO as the frontline hero of Cyrodiil. I'm basically the champion of the entire game. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's us. I mean, I'm officially not like being paid or under contract, but they basically did sign me. I'm not under contract, I'm not being paid, but I am signed, I am being paid. Do the math on that, guys. Do the math, okay? What do you think is more likely? That the best player in the game is not signed by Zoss, or the best player in the game is signed by Zoss? I'm not signed by Zoss. Uh, NPC, non-player character, that's one you're going to hear all the time. Those are like the people giving you quests, stuff like that. It's also the entire guild of Trap Game, uh, trap, our Trap Bros, I'm sorry. Trap Game is the guild master. Those guys are like NPCs. They do about as much damage as a basic low-level NPC would do. So just to give you like an example to use in a sentence so you guys can understand it more thoroughly. You're welcome. Uh, this is another one, Tune, a very, very commonly used word. It's to describe like it's short for character. It's slang for a character that you're making or made. And basically, to use in a sentence is, Law Dog makes the best builds for your tune. Google it. It's true. If it's on Google, it's fact. Thank you. Uh, AP, or Alliance Points, is the currency you earn while playing in PvP to buy yourself gears and other items, pots, potions, whatever may have you. Uh, yeah, AP, Alliance Points. Pug, which means pickup group. But uh, it's used, uh, like what I've turned it into, is a derogatory uh, insult towards bad players. Like I'd say, hey, you, you're a pug. You're not good at the game. I'm calling you a pug because you need to get in random pickup groups to stay alive. You get what I'm saying? So when you hear someone calling you a pug, it's probably an insult. But what pug means is pickup group, but it's been turned into something else by yours truly. True, <laughs> truly is the word that I am trying to pronounce. Uh, meta is one you're going to hear a lot in the game, and that's most effective tactics available. Most people say it and don't know what it means, but there are many, many players in this game who only run meta. Law Dog, your boy here, I don't run meta builds. I make them. I'm a star. Last but not least, we have bot. This is what people will call you when they're trying to insult you again. They're basically saying you're like an NPC, you're like a computer, you're not even alive. They're calling you a robot because you're bad. 
Um, that brings us to the conclusion of the video. I hope that this helps you uh, keep a gangster in the streets so you learn your slang and you're down for the get down when it comes down to understanding what the homies are saying. But you might not be able to if you don't like and subscribe. You have to like and subscribe in order to understand this content. I, do, I, I don't know why you got to do it. You got to do it. So that's what you got to do. So give me a like. Give me a sub. Be a good friend. I just hooked you up with the Ebonics of Cyrodiil. Now, you, so I hooked you up with the Ebonics. Now you're down. Now you're hip. Now you're cool. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's things you have to do in Cyrodiil. Sounding cool and looking cool is just as good as playing good and being cool. So now that you got the cool lingo, you're going to get lots and lots of more friends. You're welcome. Reward me with a like and a subscribe. Don't be a bully. Law Dog out.